My sisters and brothers, on this Monday in Holy Week, we reflect on the reading from the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 9, one of four poems in the book of Isaiah, known as the Servant Songs. History shows that nations and individuals have experienced periods when life becomes one deep, impenetrable abyss. This must have been the experience of the exiled Judean community to whom Isaiah sought to offer hope. Similarly today, hopeless depression must characterize the lives of many in Jamaica and across the world who live below the poverty line. Those who are unemployed, underemployed, and perhaps unemployable, the unnumbered, faceless and voiceless who endure daily exploitation and deprivation, those languishing in prison, the abandoned and ailing elderly waiting to die, and our children prematurely exposed to the harsh realities of daily life and savagely robbed of wholesome experiences. Who offers them hope? In today's reading, as the nation of Israel emerges from exile, the prophet Isaiah brings this message of joyful hope. The Lord Jehovah, Israel's God, is not only the greatest, he is the sole deity controlling the world and determining its history. This timely reminder comes after one of Israel's periods of political turmoil, religious apostasy, and moral decline, much the same as Jamaica and other countries are experiencing in our present time. But in this servant song, Isaiah proclaims God's promise of a brand new life, a new thing that will result in reordering social relationships and in the restoration of all creation through the redemption and reconciliation of God's people everywhere. And in this age-old message declared to us again today, the prophet points us to an affirming vision of a future of new things, new clarity, renewed strength, and attainable possibilities. He tells us to hope for and work towards a future when discarded and weakened bruised reeds will again have value and purpose. A new day when the weary and burnt out dimly burning wicks will energetically rebuild their spiritual and economic lives and a time when lost unity will be restored to a divided community and justice established in all nations. As the God of Israel commissioned the servant to fulfill his promise to bring the world to a knowledge of God and to do his work of establishing justice in a blind, dark and imprisoned earth, at the start of this Holy Week, our God calls us to renewal of mission, to make a new start, to bring hope to disordered lives, to be a light to those groping in spiritual and moral darkness, to relieve the suffering of those living in captivity and in physical bondage, to minister to persons in need, the dehumanized poor, the oppressed and underprivileged, the embattled and embittered, and to all failing to live according to God's purpose for them. We must show that a new world is being born, a horizon of hope is being formed as God creates new things and gives new life and energy to those he calls, keeps and appoints to service. As we respond to God's call, he who has created and sustained us has set a pattern for us, his followers, to emulate. We must, like the servant, portray exemplary character, 
Persevere until the mission is complete, never yielding to discouragement or despair. There must be no drawing attention to ourselves, no use of heavy-handed tactics, and no lording it over others. We must, like him, deal with people in gentleness and grace.